Each week, the San Jose Flea Market brings us stories of athletes overcoming adversity in their lives to succeed in school and in sports. Our Therese Fignol joins us now with the story of a Santa Cruz roller hockey star and what he's overcome. That's right, Kevin. The Northern California Mustangs minor league roller hockey team has a player on their roster doctors say should not be playing any sport. As you'll see, the fact that he plays roller hockey is a medical mystery. Cole Morley has always been active and involved in sports. When he was 10 years old, Morley was getting ready for Little League tryouts when he unexpectedly started having severe pains in his left leg. Didn't go to tryouts, went to the doctor, um, said it was an inflamed muscle. A month after that, uh, I was getting ready to go to the Sharks game and uh, we got a call from the doctor that said um, you need to go up to Stanford and uh, get do some more tests because we think this is a lot more serious. After several tests, Cole was told he had Ewing sarcoma, an extremely rare form of cancer found in the bone or in the soft tissue. When the doctors were able to find the tumor, it weighed six pounds and was the size of a football. They said, you have this huge tumor in your hip. Like, we don't really know how you walked in here. You're not, you shouldn't be walking right now. They said, like, let him, like, take him to the Bahamas or something and, like, let him enjoy his last six months on Earth or, and, like, we were just like, we're not doing that, like, I'm going to keep living after this. I do remember saying that if anyone can beat this, Cole can. And he also has a lot of self-determination um, and a large heart, and his love is to play hockey. The doctors told Cole and his family this process would require several rounds of radiation and chemotherapy, giving him a 50-50 chance of survival. Once the radiation and chemo were completed to shrink the tumor, to remove the remaining tumor, the surgeons also had to remove the entire left side of his pelvis. Having the, the surgeon come in and demonstrate how he thought I was going to walk, um, hearing like, you might not like make it through this, like, if we would have caught it a month later, you would be dead already. Um, like, hearing that like, what ifs, I think was, like, if this would happen, then you would be dead, or like, if if this happens, you won't be able to walk. That was the hardest part, and I think just wanting it, like wanting to keep going and wanting to do the things that I want to do, uh, just took over that part. The Mustangs forward was determined not only to walk again, but to get back to doing what he loves most. I wanted to play so bad, I love playing so much, and um, like I wasn't even be able to live without like being able to play hockey, and like I think that was my motivation. Less than a year after his surgery, Morley shocked everyone. He was not only walking, but he was back playing hockey. He actually doesn't have half of his pelvis, so that's what's pretty extraordinary from him for him to be able to skate anatomically. Um, so he doesn't have from his pubic bone to his sacrum on his left side. That's why the doctors can't believe that he can do what he can. So, because he doesn't have any support for his femur. His femur just floats. Nobody really knows. I mean, the doctors are like, we don't know like how you can do anything more than like barely get around. I wasn't going to let myself live without being able to like play hockey. I don't know why my only child was, was given this cancer, but he's successful and he's healthy and he's thriving and um, he really wants to help other children th to see his story so that they can go out and be successful also. Christmas Eve 2002 is the anniversary of when Cole finished his last treatment. Every Christmas season since then, Morley goes back not only to visit, but also to give a little love to the patients at Lucille Packard Children's Hospital. A little bag just like with um, uh, like a little like glow stick and like some colored pencils and like it's just something like while they're in the hospital they can like just have something to do because like I personally would be in there for like a week at a time and like it isn't fun just like not being able to do anything and I think like around the holiday season just like something to pick their spirits up. Cole has been cancer free for seven years and continues to pursue his passion against all odds. As he hands out gifts each holiday season, he's showing those children an extraordinary reality. When you love something so much, don't let anything stand in your way. Cole's story of adversity motivates everyone who meets him and even inspired ESPN Rise to name him their fall 2009 most inspirational athlete. Very impressive. It's incredible that he can even walk on that leg without any kind of hip support there at all. I know, but he smiles all the time. He's one of the nicest kids I've ever met. Yeah, very charismatic. All right, thanks, Therese.